to get back into art, I was first bored because uh, it was during the pandemic. I was dealing with uh, three cancers at the time. Cancer of uh, toxic marriage, divorce, and unfortunately my father died from cancer. So from the bottom came meaning and purpose. And um, firstly was to reach out to my children and let them I still love them and I'm missing them. Um, so I did a couple birds and stuff for them. And then um, they weren't too keen on it, so it was fine. And um, I showed it to my dad and he was already terminal. And he said, I think you should get back into the arts. So I haven't done, done anything for like 20 years. And um, I said, okay. And I thought about it. He said, it could be a retirement plan, you never know. <laughs> so I said, all right, I'll think about it. And as he was going down, I started to really look at him. And I felt like, what is the best way to honor him after he goes? And I found a photo of him, and one of my favorite photos of him, and I decided to paint it. And um, I met one of my mentors. Uh, he wasn't a mentor at the time, he was just a good friend. Um, an artist called Sumiata. And I was telling him what I wanted to do, and I kept pestering him about, you know, getting back into the art. And you know, he kind of kept my B at, at first, and he was like, you gotta be serious, you gotta be serious. And I said, no, I'm very serious. And um, he said, okay. Um, come to my house and we'll start something. And, you know, um, religiously I was going and uh, I ended up creating a little piece of work about my dad and I felt that was the best way to find him. And, you know, I look at it all the time and I remember him and, um, you know, the, the pieces that I did for my daughters as well to have them here. And, and as it, it the, the, the experience grew, um, I started to find some kind of healing throughout the process and um, that was in within one year and now I decide I'm, I'm gonna have a show so the mission is to basically um, sell one piece and I think I'll be able to close my chapter with um, being an artist but I've grown as an artist right now just technically um, I'm still in that apprenticeship phase I'm not yet in that mastery phase so I'm still um, getting back on the bicycle, getting used to the, the pedaling and the speed and the, the little tricks that I used to do before. Uh, it's been over 20 years, so I'm really kind of relearning the skills. And at this point, too, also just trying to pick up new skills as well. Um, I did a watercolor workshop last November, and watercolor seems to be one of my favorite things to do now. And uh, drawing has always been my, my go to. So, um, I'm marrying some of those things. I've been trying um, oil pastels and other mediums to kind of get used to it and see what else I can do. But at this point right now, it's just my technical ability is improving. As a person, as I, how I've grown, I think my eyesight has gotten better. Although I have need glasses now, um, uh, I, I see the world differently. I, I see the world vividly. I see the world with more color. I don't see red anymore. I see red plus. I see something else. I see more things that um, that the, the general public would not see. I, I've, I've taken an appreciation to what artists see, what they see. I am now an artist. I have adopted that um, label now and um, it's a beautiful journey at this point because I feel like I'm reliving a new life now. A new life has started. When I made a decision that I was going to get back into this thing seriously, there was always an intent. So every art session I went to um, with that Fitzroy White's um, studio in on Superman Boulevard, there was a there was an intent. All my work is intentional. All my drawing sessions were intentional. Every piece was intentional to to this point. So it was very easy when um, Sundiata and I sat down last week actually and we put down all my work on the floor um, to pick out the work and he just chose about 25 or so pieces and said, that's your show right there. 
and it was very easy to decide. And so I'm very comfortable at this point right now. I think um, just like when I was an athlete, if I did all the homework, I did the training, I did everything I was supposed to do, get my sleep, get my massages, did everything as far as prepare myself, then competition was easy. And I think going into this, this show, is going to be easy. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have butterflies and anxiety and everything, but that's normal. But I think because I've prepared myself and I've gotten myself technically sound in some areas, I think I'm confident to go in there and, and give a good show of myself. You are invited to something that is going to be different. You're going to see some gentlemen, myself included, novice, artists in a sense, but artists regardless are going to put out some work that you may find very intriguing. You're going to have to take a closer look. You're going to have to stand back in awe. You're going to have some things that are going to hit your heart. You're going to have some things that might move. And that's what art's supposed to be, right? It's an expression that's supposed to move you to feel something. So if you want to feel something, Whatever you want to feel, come and feel it at the show on the 7th.